It's the unique celebration that started it all. Dazzling dresses, elaborate floats, and dozens of bands entertaining hundreds of thousands of fans in downtown San Antonio. Live from the Alamo, this is the 125th anniversary Battle of Flowers Parade. And now, the Texas State Strutters. Stars at night are big and bright, deep in the heart of Texas. The prairie sky is wide and high, deep in the heart. Austin, we are reporting to you live from Alamo Plaza overlooking the Shrine of Texas, the world famous Alamo itself. We are streaming right now on KSAT.com, also on our smartphone app, so we know there are people watching in Texas, around the country, and around the world. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. The Texas State Strutters kicking off our parade coverage for us today, and boy, what a beautiful day for a parade. You know, I did not know that they are the largest university dance team in the nation. They were founded in 1960, but they did a fantastic job get things kicked off literally this year. Well, and they were saying just a little while ago, they're going to be doing this down the entire parade route. So can you imagine how tired they're going to they're be? They're going to be very tired, probably one of the, the more tired groups of everybody. But we are waiting now. You're starting to hear the sirens now. We always like to begin the parade with San Antonio's finest and the San Antonio Police Department motorcycle unit is headed this way, headed right down Alamo. And they are coming from our right, going to our left, right in front of the Alamo for this year's and, parade. And apparently we have a little Jurassic Park action. I too. saw that. I saw that. But the SAPD motorcycle unit is staffed with a very elite group of officers from the department. They're chosen for their motorcycle riding skills, their personal appearance, and also their ability to work as a team. The original unit dates back to the 1930s. They handle escorts of high-level visitors to San Antonio, and they provide dignitary escorts to presidents and heads of state. They're also the first responders to major traffic issues and all emergency management activation. You can't miss them. You can't miss them. We're going to let them go by here for just a second because they are literally right behind us. All right. 
Well, you should be awake now if you aren't. Well, what I love is, you know, they're a part of this, of course, every year. And a lot of people don't get to interact with our officers and see the fun, wonderful side of them as we sail there. Hey, this is a really special one. This is new this year, first time in the parade. This is Operation Comfort. And this is the story behind them, really fascinating. In 2004, Operation Comfort was founded by Janice Ronsnowski. She's actually an American Airlines flight attendant. She was flying the troops in and out of Kuwait City. She funded Operation Comfort to serve the wounded, ill, and injured combat veterans. Yeah, Rico Roman, uh, Roman, Josh Sweeney, Jen Lee, combat amputees and players on the Operation Comfort sled hockey team are out there. San Antonio Rampage sled hockey team won the gold medal in the 2014 Paralympics in Sochi, Russia. Which, They've received a number of awards. I think what a wonderful the, uh, thing to do. Yeah, I think the Deputy Chief Roy Waldhelm just went by from SAPD. That was the Deputy Chief. And now we see di the Dignitary Honor Guard section, San Antonio Police Department. This is San Antonio Police Department's Pipes and Drums. That's right. San Antonio Pipes and Drum formed in, formed in 1986. Uh, present traditional bagpipe band music for the enjoyment of both musicians and audiences like all of us. Yes, sir. Absolutely. You know, you notice the kilts in a variety of Scottish and Irish tartans, which is amazing. Let's listen up. Yeah, they were recently awarded the grand prize at the 2015 Comfort Texas 4th of July Parade. The grand prize trophy was a scale model of the stone obelisk that commemorates U.S. patriots who died at the 1862 Nueces Massacre. Well, we're up here. Well, I'm going to go down to the parade level, and let's talk to our own Mike Osterhage. Yeah, Mike, we're going to grab you while we can hear you. Go ahead, sir. E exactly. That band is, I love, I love the uh, bagpipes and the drums, but... You know, we talked about how this is the biggest parade in the country that is put on entirely by women and all of the volunteers, all of them dressed in their beautiful yellow outfits. And this is a long day for you, isn't it, man? Yes, sir, it is. But it's just, it's just love, isn't it? We just love it. It's filled with excitement. Everybody here loves it. It's a great place to be. How would you describe it to somebody that's never been here before? Uh, a little bit of magic, a lot of party, a lot of um, different cultures. It's just fabulous. And, and just fun. And we're right here at the Alamo. Leslie, Mark. All Mike, right. thank you so much. We've been watching the San Antonio Police Department Honor Guard go by. And you hear into the wild blue yonder for good reason. This is the Joint Base San Antonio Color Guard. And then the 502nd Air Base Wing, Joint Base San Antonio. The Air Force Band of the West is also Let's in, oh, here as well. San Antonio Police Chief William McManus walking out amongst the crowd and a closer look at the Air Force Band of the West. The United States Air Force has very close ties to the San Antonio community, as does the United States Army. And there's Chief McManus out front. He is always out with the people, isn't he? Yes, he is. He and shows up on scenes of difficult situations. He attends charity things as well. He is very much involved in this community. Walking along with him there to his right is uh, Bear County District Attorney Nicola Hood. Oh, that's right. Chief McManus was born and raised in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He moved to D.C. at the age of 22 and actually spent 27 years with the D.C. Police Department. He and his wife, Lourdes, have three children. He's a busy man. They're yes, ages 16, 14, and 12. He began working with SAPD in 2006, left briefly in 2015, and returned in October of 2015. And we know this guy. Yes, from police to the San Antonio Fire Department. That's San Antonio's Fire Chief, Charles 
Hood. He leads one of the largest fire departments in the country, commanding over 1,800 personnel. He's ultimately responsible for providing fire, emergency medical, special operations, emergency management, and fire prevention to more than 1.4 million citizens. First African American fire chief in the history of San Antonio. He serves as the honorary commander for the 433rd Airlift Wing. Did you know that? I did not know that. And they're on board a 1927 American La France fire engine, which is in gorgeous condition. Where's the Dalmatian? It's got to be up there somewhere, There's right? There's got to be a Dalmatian on there somewhere. I'm going to wow. peek back and take a look. I don't know if you mentioned this or not, but he's also the first African-American fire chief in the history of San Antonio. You did mention that. I, I was looking at other we things. He's, go ahead. And we have our first uh, flower donation. This is being carried by the San Antonio Academy Honor Guard into the Alamo Garden as part today's festivities and the ritual to celebrate the Battle of Flowers. You know, it's a very rich tradition, and it's actually, wow. I don't, to see it from this perspective, because we've done the parade a few times, but we've never done it right in front of the Alamo, and to be able to look over our shoulder and witness it and see all of this happen, it's a beautiful tradition. And also beautiful, it is a gorgeous day. If you're just out tuning here or watching from around the country, around the world, it's uh, in the upper 70s, lower 80s out there. Not a cloud in the sky and a nice breeze. It is perfect parade weather in downtown San Antonio. And there you just saw the 1891 to 2016 Battle of Flowers Parade banner that was being carried by the Flemish folk dancers at the Belgian American Club of Texas. That's right. And now, there's the San Antonio Police Department downtown bike patrol. Yeah, 58-man unit. They operate in two shifts, 7.30 in the morning till 5.30 in the evening, and then 5.30 in the evening, overnight to 3.30 a.m. Some of the first in our city to receive the new body cameras as well. That's right. Our very own Marcus Trujillo showed one of those off works on Good Morning San Antonio. They operate as a very visible deterrent to crime. They really serve as an approachable source of information and even assistance to all visitors downtown. And they've been taking part in this parade for quite a long time. Yeah, talk about community policing. All right, we're jumping out to, to uh, the Incarnate Word High School students, the Blue Ribbon School. This is their flag carriers. They're one of the top 25 innovative schools in the U.S. on the TAPS Award for winning choir and sports. 16th year to participate in the Battle of Flowers Parade. Now included in this is the Fiesta Commission flag. And Battle of Flowers is very proud to be a member of the Fiesta Commission and appreciative, of course, of all of the commission support as well. Lots of excitement. No kidding, folks. You're, you're probably watching from home right now. You can feel the energy here in downtown San Antonio. And what a great way to start the day. Battle of Flowers, Niosa tonight, and of course, Game 3 with our San Antonio Spurs in Memphis Oh, tonight. go Spurs, go. And there you see the German folk dancers of San Antonio carrying the Texas Traditions 125 Years Parade theme banner. That's right. This is their 27th year in the parade. They strive to preserve the culture and traditions of Deutschland, Germany, as reflected in German dance and costume. They perform in Germany, Switzerland, and Mexico, as well as the Texas State Fair, the Folk Life Festival, and on and on. All right, and Battle of Flowers, yellow hats, where Fiesta began. There you see that, uh, that, that banner going by. It's sponsored, of course, by the Battle of Flowers Association. But we need to look really carefully at this banner. There's something special this year on the banner. Okay, I'm looking. It's Tiki McCaw. Do you see Tiki McCaw on the banner? Oh, I do. There's right. Okay, yes. right there. there. And, hey, it's his first year to take part in the Battle of Flowers Parade. Not every year you have a McCaw he riding is along. an ambassador to both the Texas Renaissance Festival and the Save the Amazon Rainforest Organization. And he is an honorary crew member for the USS Lexington and Corpus Christi as well. He's Look at him. He's just fitting right in. Look at all the beautiful colors. He's worked for Disney and is a four-year veteran of Comic Palooza in Houston. But <laughs> Hello, Tiki. Tiki, we are so happy to have you part of this very special 125th Battle of Flowers Parade. Wow. Okay, next up here, we have a one of our first big balloons. The Battle of Flowers Association Yellow Hats Balloon celebrates our parade, the founding event of Fiesta 125 years ago. The distinctive yellow hats were first worn by parade volunteers in 1973, and the yellow dresses followed the next year. The association thanks donors and all the participants and spectators for making this event a most memorable San Antonio celebration. It takes a lot of people to carry a balloon that size. It does. We learned take. that when that got our own balloon, yeah. and uh, you'll see that coming up later in the parade. They've got two. Yeah, there is a little bit of wind. They better hold on tight. Now we have the Girl Scouts of the Southwest, Gamma Sigma Chapters.
carrying the giant American flag. Gamma Sigma Girls, a free and unique leadership development program created for every girl by the Girl Scouts of Southwest Texas in partnership with local school districts. They're in a sorority type setting. Teen girls have a limited history with Girl Scouting come together through the bond of sisterhood and explore common interests in a safe space. And you hear coming up right behind them, the Texas A&M University Gig'em Fighting Texas Aggie Band. So as the Aggie band goes by, I want to tell you their drum majors, Timothy Cummins, the assistant drum majors, Hayden Perry, and Matthew McClure, which we found out this morning. Matthew is an alum of Central Catholic High School here in San Antonio, right across the street from our studios. How proud of the making us. Let's listen again some more. Now there you see, coming up behind them, the Texas A&M University Corps of Cadets Ross Volunteer Company, formed in 1887, comprised of junior and senior cadets who demonstrate academic excellence, outstanding conduct, and high leadership potential. Ross Volunteer Company, one of the most notable and defining images of A&M. The Ross Volunteers are synonymous with the Aggie traditions of muster and silver taps. It's the oldest student organization on campus and serves as the honorary guard for the governor of the state of Texas. And of course, we also have the Texas A&M Corps of Cadets, Texas A&M Fish Drill Team, formed in 1946 when freshman cadets were housed on a separate campus due to the student population. It's comprised of male and female freshman cadets. And here's the best part about it. They're known for their precision rifle drill team. They perform that super well-known opening drill sequence in the Tom Cruise, Jack Nicholson movie, A Few Good Men, dressed as U.S. Movie. Marines, but it was the A&M Fish Drill Team. We think they are amazing. Actually, they've won numerous national championships, too, to include 16 consecutive Texas state titles, and they are the 2014 national champions. 25 participants. There's the freshman drill team as well. Texas A&M well represented out here at the uh, Battle of Flowers Parade as we pan around. You get a couple different views there, a 360 degree view of the parade down there. Yeah, we want to show you from every angle. Of course, absolutely. I, you know, I love watching every part of it, but boy, you just have to stop when the bands come by and listen to them. And I don't think I mentioned also when we were talking about the fish drill team. Yeah. They won the national championship at the annual two lane drill meet every year since 2006, except for once. Looking sharp this year, and every year we talk about the fact that they're in those warm uniforms and those steel helmets. Well, and they've got a lot of sunshine beating down on them, too, in those warm uniforms. You know that it can't be easy. And they're going to walk for, what, three, three and a half hours? That's right. All right, now, next up we have the Parsons Mounted Cavalry from Texas A&M University. They were formed over 40 years ago, the Parsons Mounted Cavalry. It's a horse combat unit. It consists of the cavalry, artillery, and the quartermaster elements. Military training at Texas A&M included mounted drill until 1943. The cavalry tradition was revived by the class of 1974. Today's unit consists of 48 horses and five mules. And when you have horses, you have to have the super scoopers. So you will notice behind them, excuse me, John Jay High School Spanish Honor Society doing the dirty work for us on this one. Don't the, didn't that remind you back in the, the Rough Rider days of Teddy Roosevelt, their uniforms, the, the old cavalry uniforms and hats? I don't remember that far back, you? Uh, actually, Mike probably does. Probably so, <laughs> but yeah, Super Scoopers, thank you for your, for your duty, and I didn't mean to say it that way, that was a pun. Yeah, dual meanings, I guess. <laughs> Hey, everybody, we thank you so much for being with us for this live coverage on KSAT of the Battle of Flowers Parade. We're going to take a quick break, but we'll be back with much more. We are just getting started. Stick around.